Hi, this is Gregor, and I am back with another refactoring episode. We are jumping right back into the coffee machine code. In the previous episode, we did refactor it towards model view controller. We will continue with the model now and do some comprehension refactoring. In comprehension refactoring, we are studying the code and we keep our eyes open for the sign smells. We are renaming things and moving stuff around so the code becomes more reasonable for us. Let's jump right into the model. So at the very top there is the make drink method and this should be at the heart of the application. What is this doing? This is getting a drink by ID. Let's extract it. And there is even a validation going on in the top. So I think I can extract this too. We are checking if it exists. I mean, it's even throwing an exception if it's not existing. So we are rather asserting here. Assert drink exists. Now let's continue with the make drink method. What are we doing here? Here we are actually making the drink. Extract it. And I would like to move it to the drink. For that I first have to extract this parameter so I can move it. Now let's move it to the drink because this is where the stuff is happening. And the drink is the one that owns all these fields. It owns the makeable so can I can inline it. Owns the receipt. I can inline it too. Once you move methods to the objects that they are working on, the cohesion increases and you don't need all these getters and setters anymore. What is this code doing? So it is looping over all the ingredients. And if there is a ingredient contained in the receipt, then the stock is reduced. So it is somehow consuming the ingredient. Let's extract this method consume. I think some of the code doesn't belong here. So the stock is reduced. Are we even in the green? Let's, let's check if you're in the green. Okay. You're in the green. So this is the needed amount. Let's make the code say that it is the needed amount. So and here it is reducing the stock. So this is consuming an amount of an ingredient. I think I can move this to the ingredient itself because the ingredient owns the stock. So I can inline it, getting rid of accessories again. I can even remove the set cost and remove the set name. Also these fields are, these are redundant initializers. Let's remove them and run the tests. Still in the green, nice. I think this is good. What is this if doing? It is checking whether the receipt contains the ingredient. So if the receipt needs the ingredient, let's extract this as a method. If the ingredient is needed, consume the needed amount. Yeah, 
That's much better. So the make the drink method is still calling back to the model. Let's take a look at this update makeable method. Run the tests. They're still in the green. What is this method doing? So it is looping over all the drinks and their receipts and checking if there is enough stock in the ingredients and then it is deciding whether the drink is makeable or not. So within this loop, I, I want to move this all to the drink method because we are dealing with drinks here. So let's extract this to update makeable. Let's prefix it because it's already taken and move it to the drink. Or I can rename it back. Take a look what it does. Let's inline this as we own it. I don't like the uh, abbreviation here. It makes it harder for me to read it, so I will rename it. Run the tests, fill in the green. So I think we already have this code. This is getting the amount of the ingredient needed amount. So we should be able to replace it. Yeah, it's found it and replaced. Nice. Same goes with this first one. Receipt contains key. We already have that. This is checking if the ingredient is even needed. Let's search it and replace it. This update makeable method is clearly doing more than one thing. It's not only calculating whether the drink is makeable or not, it's also setting the field set makeable. So that's two things. I want to separate those responsibilities. Let's do a split phase here. Extract the variable. and set it in the bottom. Run the tests. This didn't work. Okay, okay. So what do we do if stuff like this doesn't work? You don't just try and fix it. What you want to do is you want to revert back to the state where you're still in the green. Then you want to start over and you want to do very small steps. And after each step, Check whether you're in the green because probably what you have been doing, you have been doing two big steps. So let's do that now. Revert back to where we were. And go slowly, step by step. Extract the field. Run the tests. Yes, it works. Slide it up. Run the test. Yes, it works. Now I can set it here to false. Does this work on the tests? Yes. Should be able to set it here to true. Does this work? Run the tests. Yes. Can I now invoke the set method in the bottom with my new field? Yes, this works. You make really small steps, right? Now I should be able to remove this invocation. Yes, this works. Now I can also remove it from the if clause. Does this work? Yes, this works. And now I have split the phases. I can extract this piece of code in the top. And this is calculating the makeable. And then we are setting it. Let's look at this method again. Now that I have extracted it, I think we can just return force here. Let's try that. Yeah, that works. 
and we should be able to just return true in the bottom, right? Let's try that. That works. Now I can even get rid of the field. Run the tests. Works. And I should be able to replace this with stream. It is only handling those ingredients that are needed. I should be able to move this to a filter. Let's try that. Let's run the tests. Yes, it works. So I can remove it from the condition. Let's add some new lines to make it more readable. Now, what is this code doing? It is checking whether, the, whether we are out of stock for this ingredient. So I think we should extract this. We should probably move this to the ingredient itself because the ingredient owns the stock. We can pass the amount to this method. Let's extract this. Out of stock. I would like to pass the needed amount, not the ingredient. Now I can move it to the ingredient. So here we are checking if we are out of stock or if the needed amount is bigger than the stock that we have. Run the tests. We are in the green. I would like to invert this condition. Not check if it's out of stock, but rather check if we do have stock. Like, do we have the amount? And we have to invert this too. This is all match. Run the tests. Yes, this works. So, for all the ingredients, for all the needed ingredients, we are checking whether we do have the amount that is needed. Let's extract this as a method available. We can replace this. Yeah, we are filtering all the needed ingredients and we are checking for every one of them if they are available. Now that we have the isMakeable method, we should not need the makeable field anymore. And then we should also be able to get rid of the update makeable method, which was a bad idea to begin with. Let's see where the get makeable is being used. So it is used in the view. Let's try and replace that. And run the tests. This works nice. What other uses do we have? No uses, so we should now be able to remove this update makeable method. Does this work? No, it does not. Doesn't it work? Doesn't it work? Ah, so the makeable field is still used here. We can replace this with is makeable. Run the tests. 
Yeah, now it works. Can we remove it now? Yes, we can. Nice. Let's get rid of the getter. We don't need it anymore. Can inline this. Set name is unused. We can delete it. We don't need the makeable field anymore. Set drink makeable. Where is it? Who is using it? Date makeable. Who is using it? Here it's invoked. Let's remove that. Run the tests. That works. Okay. There is still one usage left. In the restock ingredients. Let's remove that. On the tests. Works. Nice. So we can now remove the unused update makeover. And remove this. Also the set makeover and the field. Oh, I think I accidentally didn't remove the field. Let's remove it now. And also, we don't need this. Now we don't have any more dependency on the model in make the drink. Can remove it. Can inline that. I think I want to rename this. Something like make. Make the drink is too long here. Let's flip these arguments. I want a few in the end because I really want a few to be gone. Yeah, it looks much better now. Let's compare it with the latest repository version to see what we did. We got rid of the makeable field and we got rid of some accessories and we added a lot of behavior to the drink. The model got much thinner because it's really only delegating to the drink. We removed all the update makeable invocations. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I would, I would go and, and commit this. Step three, refactor the model, refactor the make drink method of the model. And push it. There is still more work to do, but let's do that another time. Wrapping it up, we are carefully identifying and extracting responsibilities and moving them to the objects they belong to. As you may have noticed, by increasing the cohesion, we got rid of some of the getters and setters, which is really nice. But most importantly, we are making the code say what it does. And after making a mistake, the tests assisted us in making smaller steps to stay safe. I hope you liked the comprehension refactoring. I'm Gregor, 
See you next time.